Well, good afternoon and welcome to this uh, fifth edition of uh, our seminar on optimization and variation analysis. In this case, uh, dedicated to stability and multi-criteria precision. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, all the uh, organizers and all the supporters, uh, in particular our uh, institute, the Center of Operation Research, and also the Department of Math uh, Statistics, Mathematics, and Computer Science. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce the first uh, speaker, uh, who is Professor Ho Van Ho, uh, from the International University uh, in the uh, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City, uh, in Vietnam. And he is a director of this university and also the head of the department of system engineering. And uh, he has uh, many uh, uh, interest fields. Uh, he is an engineer, a system engineer, but uh, he is interested in operation research, in multi uh, decision, stochastic uh, programming. Uh, simulation, decision support uh, systems, uh, management, and many other things. So uh, it's uh, our pleasure, and we are uh, yours. So. Yeah. <coughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Huang. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, uh, let me. Uh, Thank you for all of you. Firstly, uh, thank you for your hospitality during my first time uh, visit Spain and uh, the uh, uh, Miguel Hernandez University of Angie. Yeah. And I have the uh, uh, honor uh, to be here to present my work. Uh, on the on on, on the uh, application of uh, multiple criteria decision making in uh, in production, yeah. So I uh, learned that uh, all of you uh, work uh, have uh, excellent works in uh, operation research. <laughs> so uh, in this sense, uh, I, I would like to giving you one application of, of that on production that I inherited from, uh, from uh, many years for working on that. Yeah. The, uh, the talk is, uh, I, I try to uh, use uh, some of the um, local search techniques for finding out a compromise solution with more than one objective in the problem of uh, uh, facility layout problems. So, so called genetic algorithms approach for solving a multi objective facility problem. Uh, this work, uh, I work with uh, two of my students. Yeah, their, their name here. So, uh, so it's my name and the, the other one too. Uh, firstly, uh, a facility layout is a, a kind of very common problem in production and services. In that sense, we organize, we arrange the facility so that it maximize the uh, utilization and, and minimize the uh, congestion if any in any given layout. So if we have a good arrangement of facility, including machine or workstation, or people or computer and so on together, then we, we can improve the performance of the system. In terms of uh, we can reduce the lead time. So uh, in Vietnam, you know, when people come to hospital, for health care, for health checking, for example. Uh, people spend maybe five to six hours just uh, waiting and moving 
And actually, they, 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 they meet doctor only 10 minutes. So total lead time is long, but the main or the essential time for getting the production utilization is very short. So if we can reduce the lead time, then in a circle time, certainly we can increase the number of products. It means that the production will increase. So I mean lead time. Throughput, throughput means the number of output in a, in a unit of time. So uh, according to many, many study about, about the um, problem, usually uh, people try to arrange the facility together so that they minimize the total travel time. So if the lead time including waiting time, moving time, processing time, then with a good arrangement, we can reduce the moving time. If we can reduce the moving time, that will make very essential improvement. So usually the first objective is minimize the total travel time or moving time. The second one, the second one that people consider that how uh, if we arrange the, 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 the facility together so it can maximize the uh, happiness for Sambro. We work very good, smoothly, yeah. no interruption, no, let's say, uh, disconnection. Yeah. We call this one a, the closed net rating score. So if this one is the purely quantitative and this one is some kind of qualitative, so this one is the, from, from literature, they consider two objectives. And my works consider the third one. The third one I call the flexibility or reachability. I will define soon. So what is it? Uh, flexibility I define as ability of the system to quickly adapt or adjust with any unexpected changes in production. Let's say if machine breaks down, let's say if the uh, 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 power breaks down, uh, power off, uh, let's say if something that happened in the production, then we can rechanging, rerouting. Yeah, we got the. If we can do that, we say that the layout or the production is flexible. The first objective should be minimized. So if you have two workstation or two machines, so usually you have to move between one to the other one. So this one, the, the, we can work flow. With the distance, if we take the workflow, we multi multiply with the distance, that is the total workflow, we can travel time here. So this objective must be minimized. The second one, the closed net rating score. So if the two machines must be close together, we define a, a relationship is A. If they important to put close together, we define the, the relationship is E. I, O, U. X and so on. X for not put close together. Uh, for example, uh, um, the reception in entrance of the uh, building, we have the reception. So the reception is one facility. It should not be close to the president office. <laughs> yeah, that is the undesirable. For example, yeah. And this one should be maximized. This objective should be maximized. So how about the third one, the third objective? So what happens if, if one machine breaks down in, in, in our, our layout here, something that went wrong? And, and this one, a, a stochastic nature of the production. Yeah. So in this case, I consider that if we didn't do anything, if we didn't do anything, the production will be blocked until the problem solved. So instead of waiting, we can do 
something that we rerouting the product so that it, it, it can it can get better. Yeah. In order to do that, I define what I call availability. So availability is the uh, firstly uh, if this one is the failure rate of the machine and this one is repair rate. So uh, according to the probability model of the uh, uh, machine, uh, this one is the probability that machine in working condition. And with the renewal uh, theory, I come up with the uh, formulation that I can find out the availability of one machine by using this formulation. If I do know about the GT uh, distribution of the uh, uh, time for the machine and this one uh, F bar T F bar T standing for reliability of the machine so finally I can find out the availability of the machine and I, 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 I saw the case here so if, if something in normal so uh, uh, the workflow go from this to this to this to this so if the machine break down so uh, I, I solving the problem by looking for another machine, I call the alternative one, which is very close to this one, the broken one, and available. So I rerouting this one. So after rerouting, I waiting for this one repairing, and when it's back, so I, it, it return to normal. And in this case, I define the flexibility by taking the availability divided by the, the, the distance here. And this objective must be maximized. So totally, I have three objectives. Minimize the total travel time. Maximize the total cl close net rating score. And maximize the uh, flexibility. So I saw a week uh, a clear example that uh, I have nine machines together in a FMS which sum up the condition for constraint and this one is the relationship with uh, the given the relationship among nine machines and this one based on the uh, given uh, uh, status of the uh, machine I re computing the, 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 the availability and this one, uh, my, my production have to, have to uh, do some work in order to produce uh, one, two, three, four, five products. And the product A, the main route, the original route, must be go to machine one, and then go to machine two, and then machine four, machine five, machine eight. So based on the uh, characteristic of the machine, for example, uh, if I have a turning machine, so this one is turning uh, process. If something wrong in this one, I have to looking for another turning machine. So in this case, I call this one the, uh, available and it could be uh, changeable. So in this case, if machine four break down, I can move the work to machine 6 or machine 3. Of course, the processing time here inside the bucket will be changed. So this one is the given data. And this one is the uh, algorithm for, 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 for solving that. Before, before we solve the problem, uh, I myself wonder that there is a good arrangement. I want to find out that good arrangement. Depending on the way I take a look on the problem, I might have different solution. So it doesn't mean that uh, it doesn't mean that if I give the very good objective definition, then the the, 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 the system will be improved. But how to implement that? So in order to do that, I firstly try to solve analytically and then I rechecking the solution by using simulation so this one is simulation done in a, in a well-known software so-called arena
Yeah. And, and this one the results. So for travel distance, this one is nothing changed. So if this one happened, some machine break down, if I didn't do anything here, so this one is travel distance here. So if I do something, I mean that I rerouting, it can have more uh, distance because the, the, uh, the, the, the job have to move to another machine. However, I have better utilization comparing with this one. This one, this and this one, it didn't do anything. This one, I rerouting. Especially the number of product out, if I didn't do anything here and here, remarkable increasing. It means that I totally solved the blocking problem of the layout. It means that if people arrange the layout according to the solution I, I, I suggest, and they can, let's say, rerouting the job. If something happened, they can have the big improvement. And, and flow time also. Flow time also improve. Flow time defines the total time and the job in the system. Yeah. So you see that the number out and the flow, the, the flow time is up the red one. The red one is the, 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 the one that we apply the changing, much improved comparing with the, the uh, didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and uh, my, 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 my conclusion is uh, uh, I, I would uh, like to uh, introduce a new objective for, for facility layout a problem, so-called uh, uh, reachability. And so actually, uh, this one is not defined in, uh, in English uh, dictionary. <laughs> Uh, reachable, yes, but reachability, no. But I define that one, the ability for the system to reach to, uh, 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 let's say, available and uh, a good way for solving the blocking problem. Yeah. And, and this one, consider uh, Pareto solution. If I, I, I consider trade-off and, uh, and non uh, dominated solution if I consider three objectives together. Yeah. So, many, many solutions here. And this one is the references. Yeah. So, uh, uh, there is a work from uh, uh, Deb Kali. Yeah. Especially, uh, he Im Im implement a well-known uh, algorithm for uh, solving uh, uh, the uh, non-dominated solution using the genetic algorithms. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, this one is end of my uh, talk. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, if there is no... Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me ask, concerning the optimization part, which is your experience? So you use this algorithm, NSGA, it's a genetic algorithm, and they work uh, this software, uh, this program works well? We, so we work by ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So we wrote the... And then we wrote by... The program, however, not only, not only the, the, the program for solving the optimization, so uh, we implement the simulation here. And, and, and we give the, uh, the genetic uh, uh, program 
for uh, uh, guiding the, the simulation. So when when one time simulation and then we get the output and we put it here uh, and and we, we we take the output of the simulation as the performance of the three objective and to see that improve or not. So we, we, we saw and we find out another solution and we send that solution to simulation and run again. So uh, this one actually is the uh, uh, optimization simulation program. Yeah, so I give this one for, 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 for something. Thanks again.